Welcome folks. In today's video, a challenge set by the kids to make the interior of a rebel ship with a sliding door, a rotating cannon, and it has to fit on three 16 by 16 wide base plates, and I had three hours to do it. And this is because we've been playing our own version of LEGO Masters recently and doing wee challenges, so I thought I'd share this one with you. So I have a neat sliding door which Leia is heading down and it's guarded by this rebel trooper. The sliding door is super simple, I used two triangular panels to get the look I was after and as you can see I've gone for a very white and modern looking interior with blue and trans clear motifs. There's a whole bunch of exterior greebling which is meant to be the outside of the ship with a rotating external turbo laser, it's pretty simple but it looks pretty good I think. And the idea was to have all these cables and hoses that connect the gunner's controls and firing systems, so I've added a bunch of detail here for that. I kinda imagine this is a Mon Calamari ship, so there's a few Mon Calamari crew. This fella here, he's the gunner. I just stuck Admiral Akbar's head on another body for this one, and he has a shower above the gunner's seat to make sure he doesn't dry out. <laughs> My kids were very concerned for their welfare. <laughs> This wee fella has Admiral Radice's head on a rebel body, and he's a fan of Earl Grey tea, of course. <laughs> when I was doing the floor, I lined the corridor of it with grey grates and sand blue tiles, and the grates help the water drain away from the shower, of course. <laughs> They've also got a water cooler essential to keep them hydrated, and this is where they have a blether about all the latest shipboard news and gossip. Put plenty of windows in the gunner section so you can see outside and the, I quite like having the domed one, it's quite effective. And you know overall it's nice to have lots of space from above to get the hands in and play and that's really important for this mop. Leia's having a tea break but she forgot the milk so she went off to go and get some blue milk as they like having that with their Earl Grey tea. <laughs> So when I started building this, I did this section first and matched either side of the door with the same kind of build and I just experimented with different techniques for creating an interesting wall. And around the back, it's unfinished, it doesn't really matter, you can see the construction a wee bit but the whole point was really to get a finished look on the other side. Part of the challenge is to just come up with something original and try not to copy anything that exists online or in books. So I tried to kind of copy a Corvette interior in my head and the interiors of the Mon Calamari ship in Battlefront 2 and I wanted to use a kind of blue colour so it kind of has a certain feel but it's not exactly replicating a real thing that exists. And it's a pretty decent effort for just three hours. However, I have actually used an illegal build technique for the door as I wanted to use those triangular panel pieces and the way I did that was to put Technic pins inside it on the back of a white tile. It works, but there's a bit of a sticky out edge on top, but it looks cool and I'm not fussed about cheating, but I'd probably get booted off LEGO Masters for this one. <laughs> Anyways, just a bit of fun and I'll be doing more of these as we're having lots of fun doing it and next week I'll show you what the kids made and my next one too, so check that out when it comes. Thanks for watching folks, see you later, bye!